New at five teachers taking action after a middle school janitor is accused of putting cameras in school bathrooms. Parents say at Sunret Ridge, Sunret Sunset Ridge School in Northfield tell us he recorded students. Investigators say he did the same to teachers. CBS 2's Chris Ty is always investigating. He's in the control room. Chris, you have the lawsuit just filed by 13 teachers. We do, Brad. Indeed, it has been six weeks. The man police say recorded those people in those bathrooms is David Garcia Espinal on the run for six weeks. And as the hunt for him continues tonight, for the first time, some of his victims are seeking damages. We are hearing for the first time from some of the victims inside Sunset Ridge School by way of this just filed lawsuit. David Garcia Espinal was employed by two vendors the school used. Job one is a cook, but the teachers are suing Chicago-based Smith Maintenance that hired him as a janitor. Thirteen teachers, all filing as Jane Doe to protect their identity, claim that based on background checks or lack thereof, the maintenance company Smith knew or should have known that Garcia Espinal had a particular unfitness for the position of elementary school custodian, and that they suffered severe and personal injuries and have suffered and will continue to suffer great mental anguish, humiliation, and loss of normal life. Lack of supervision, they say, allowed him to place unnecessary trash cans in bathrooms that already had wall-mounted trash cans. I feel disgusted. CBS2 exclusively reported that parents have been told by investigators that kids were also recorded in student bathrooms. And last week, another teacher sued Smith Maintenance and the company that employed Espinal as a cook. Notably, neither suit has named the Sunset Ridge District as a defendant, even though they failed to do their own separate background check on Espinal as state law requires. Those victims are seeking over $50,000 in damages each. We reached out to Smith Maintenance for a comment. They did not make themselves available. Live in the control room, Chris Ty, CBS2 News.